Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel today. We are going to be taking a look at Maplebrook CC Lakes. This is a Par 73 fictional course and it's designed in the Boreal theme. Um, and it's designed by Jack the Golfer 7708. So uh, Maplebrook's CC Lakes course is one of two courses at Maplebrook CC with the other course or with the other one being the Maplebrook CC Woods course. This course features picturesque par threes, beautiful waterside holes offering a challenge and even some beach bunkers which if you're unlucky could lead to the ball rolling into the water. Some good examples are the 16th and 9th holes. This is not an easy course with some holes featuring a cluster of bunkers guarding the green like the 4th hole or drives that must carry water like the 6th. Most of the par 5s and some par 4s are reachable in certain conditions of course. So the, par, so the total power of 73 shouldn't worry you too much. The holes go down to the lakes, back into the trees and back to the water once again. Come and play the lakes course, there is a lot of fun and challenges ahead. Um, so uh, actually I'll talk about it now in a second. Um, we'll just get, a, we'll get ourselves down onto the course. Uh, it's been about a week since I did any, uh, did any recording so I have to get, get myself into commentary mode now at the moment. Uh, we'll be doing our usual, I'm sure you all know by now, be keeping everything on default so the fairways are going to be normal, the greens will be firm and the green speed will be medium fast. We'll be playing from the blue tees which are 7,605 yards and we'll keep it on pin set number one. So as I said there in the description, it's been labelled as not an easy course. Um, and it'll branch over onto Twitter here because it, it says on Twitter that this is one of the hardest and prettiest courses that he's made. But yet on TGC Tours, this is being listed as the only course or at least TGC Tours approved course anyway. Um, so that is why myself and a number of other creators would really love for the next game. We've said it to 2K and HB as well that uh, we really, really do need to get the, the more by designer feature back again um and to do away with the tgc member where i'm on psn so of course designed on pc or on xbox it doesn't say tgc member it'll give their actual online id and then maybe in brackets beside it just say pc xbox psn whatever so that uh, we can look up um other courses by a designer because i genuinely do not know if uh, if jack has designed other courses on here on 2k21 or 2019 or whatever or on some other platform um i haven't a clue but uh, liking the nice lush green at the moment nice stream running up along the uh the first hall here and not sure what hall that will be coming back down we'll do the usual if uh, if we do see anything of interest we'll try and take a quick look at it as best we can with the restrictions that we do have do we want to try and go no, <laughs> because you will notice as well that I am actually officially on Master Swing now. But uh, right now, the first hole anyway is a par 4 and it's 411 yards and it's up 19 feet, 12 mile per hour wind. So that's not a good start. <laughs> Thankfully, I did drop down to the, uh, to the three wood. But uh, yeah, I didn't notice at all during the last video. The whole video while recording it did not notice that I was actually on pro swing. It was only when I was in it and I was look I looked at the um the shot feedback and I was like, hold on a second. I just said that I'm, we're back on master swing. That's not a master swing uh feedback. <laughs> Went into the game and yeah, sure enough I was on pro. Didn't even realise. But uh, what are we left with? 161 up 22. Uh so about 168. So seven iron. What are the greens again? The greens firm. Bear with me two seconds, I'll have a look. Uh, greens are firm. Um, I think a little bit of loft and spin. I'll say wind is quite up. There we go, it's a little bit better. Just got to get a feel for the tempo now on the, on the proper master. Ooh, settle down. Now what are the green speeds? Make sure to check that before we take the first pull. We do have a birdie opportunity. So green speeds are 160. Got 17 feet down, 5 inches. Oh, that's a horrible swing line, but got the job done. We'll open up with a birdie. Even after a red fast off the tee with the 3 wood. So off to a good start, as I say. 
be interesting to see how it goes as the, the course is being labelled as a difficult one. So hole number two is a par four, it's 492 yards down six feet, 13 mile per hour wind pretty much coming in the face. We're actually coming back, so this is the second hole because we're just over there heading that way. So we'll just find the point. A little bit fast, but better. Only in the grey. And uh, yeah, it's usually actually the um, usually when I'm on TGC tours looking for a course, it's usually the uh, when I'm clicking through them, it's usually the the pictures there, the the course fo uh, photographs that. Um, the ones that catch my attention it was actually the name this time because I was curious as to what the MB stood for. Um, right, what are we left for? Or left for? Left with 200, about playing about 205. Will a three will get up there at par four. I'll put some fade on. Still slightly fast. That's uh, going to go off the back at sight. But it'll leave us a little chip up to the hole. Let's see how good the chipping is on Master. Well, this evening anyway. 11 yards. Oh, a little slow. It's pushed it out. Can it turn in? Ooh, just ran itself over the right edge. So, a little tap in for the par. And stay at one under for now. So, I've got the first par three coming up. we got two par fives on the front nine. Just a single par three. And this one is 199 yards down, 11 feet. And, oh, definitely don't want to be long here. Oh, what have we got here now? I see a little green tint to uh, to the water here. Ah, it's just shallow, I see there, with the grass. But a nice little effect, actually. It looks a little bit different. It looks like there is uh, some... Um, what's that? What's the, the word I'm looking for? Some growth, I suppose you could say, under the water. It's not just... Uh, just dark and dark and real deep looking. I suppose would be the best way to put it. Right, um, so we got eight mile per hour. I'm gonna play about 195. I'll certainly have to put a bit of D loft on this. Still a little bit on the fast side now that yeah, it's, it's gonna stay dry anyway, we're bunkered. Thankfully, if the wind was the other way, I think we would have been dropping into the war. Right, splash shot. A little bit of deal after I think. So we've got 83% at best. Still slightly fast. Just got to find that rhythm. Six feet to save the par. That'll do. Keep pushing the putts, I'm noticing now uh, out to the right. But here is the first of the two par fives in the front nine coming up. For hole number four. And it's measuring 612 yards up eight feet. Bit of a narrow, windy fairway. Give me a look at the slope there actually. Straight over the bunkers because it looks like if we do touch down in this area it's potentially going to kick aggressive over to the right. Still slightly fast. Just trying to find the right point at which to push it forward as well. That's why I'm just doing the, the fake swing. If I was on pro, um, I'd just be going straight for it. But I got 331 yards out of it anyway. Left us with 284, up 11. Now, do we want to be risky and try the driver? See if we can chase that up there. We'll see, it's worth a go. There's no water in play anyway, as it was mentioned in the description as well. Uh, but yeah, actually, I think it was this one. Uh, a cluster of bunkers guarding the green off to the right hand side. Still just into the grey fast. And where's that? Oh, we're into one of those bunkers. But I say, just a little splash shot up, it should be fine. And I think it said, just bear with me, because I still have the uh, the description open, is it the 6th hole? 
Um, yeah, so we gotta carry the carry the water off the tee on the sixth. All right, so it's gonna play about 25, 24 yards. We'll pop that up to the sand wedge. There we go. Under hit it, but at least got the tempo right. And just barely clinging onto the green. All right, let's see if we can't get a birdie. Get ourselves to two under. Uh, no. No, it's all right. Just in for the par. Feels a bit like a drop shot, though. Unfortunately, on a par five. Right, string of par fours. And par five, then second par five of the course, then to wrap up the front nine. This one that was 485 yards down 24 feet, 10 mile per hour wind in the face. And it looks like we definitely need to be careful on the approach as well. But thankfully again we do have a headwind anyway, so. There we go, just about into the perfect. That's going to leave us 202 yards. Ooh, see, I don't want to be taking a wood into the green. Um, yeah. I'm going to play about 200. Right, I'm just going to have to severely de-loft the, uh, the four iron and just hope we get there. That's a slot, yeah, just barely into the slot, I felt that, so we're bunkered again. But, I just feel it would have gone, even if I put a lot of fade onto that, or even draw to cut it into the wind. There was, a, I think there may have been more risk of going over and into down into the water, so 27, going to play about 30. Play the gap wedge. We got the power right that time, but back onto the fast. Oh! Almost hold it from the bunker. So, we'll stay at one under again for now. Just getting a little bit of a par streak going. Hopefully we can break that soon, but not be in the wrong direction. So, hole number six, got to take it over the water. Um, par four, 333 yards down nine feet. And... Nice rock work actually along the along the edge of the fairway here, running all the way, the length of the length of the fairway up to the green, the greenside bunker. And that is a severe severely sloping uh, fairway as well. So I'm gonna play it well over here. There we go, that's a nice tempo. Pushed it slightly in the swing, but as long as it stays dry, I'm happy. Yeah, that's a nice, uh, nice rock work, and then the grass, grass planting along the the edge of the fairway, the water edge. Okay, right, left with fifty, up five, so going to play about fifty-two. That's a flop shot. Um, quite a bit of loft and spin on this. This is going to be a tricky one. Look at that perfect zone on the the feedback. Oh, red fast. It's got on though. Sack quick. Birdie opportunity from 10 feet. Not much in the break. And that will get us to two under par. Alright, so we broke the par streak anyway. And we're still heading in the right direction. Okay, so hole number seven, par four again, 461 yards up 25 feet, and that is a nice little bottleneck right in the landing zone. Um, we'll see if we can thread it between the roof and the bunker. That's six mile per hour right to left wind as well. That's fast. That's going to wrap around into the bunker, I think. Oh, yeah. All right, first, uh, is this the first fairway bunker? I know I've hit a few bunkers, but I think they've all been really green side. Oh, and we've got four bunkers now to carry to get up onto the green. 175 yards up 18, so about 181 is what it's going to play. Um, that's a bit of a high lip on the bunker. I don't know if we're going to get a four iron out, but we'll try. 
I think what we'll do is we'll just play over here for a bit of fairway. That's fast again. Oh, red fast. We're playing bunker to bunker. Are we? We are. Maybe a short little splash up onto the green. Well, not really short. It's going to be playing pretty much its distance with the lob wedge. 96% book at the tempo. Perfect. Almost again out of the bunker hole in the splash shot. We're just about side par there. Push that one. That was drifting towards the right edge. So stay at two under through seven. So we're certainly not um, destroying the course or running away with it at all. So the, the final. The final far four, I was about to say. The final par four even. Um, of the front nine, hole number eight, 373 yards down, nine feet. Um, oh, now, do we want to try, try, I can't speak, I can't speak tonight. <laughs> do we want to try and thread through that little bottleneck again? I think we will. Slightly fast, going to hold it straight. That could run into the rough on the left. I was trying to turn, now we should be fine. Yeah, we are. All right, leaves us 106, up eight, so I'm gonna play about 109. Um, certainly don't want to pitch. Do not like doing pitches from outside 100 yards. Um, don't want to be short. Don't want to be long. Oh, 93. I don't think 93 is gonna get there. So I'll play the sand wedge. Just put a good bit of loft and spin on it, though. I think. Try and sit it as quick as we can. That will do. Tracking around pretty good. Oh yes, beautiful approach there. That should hopefully take us to three under par. All right, so let's see if we can't get another birdie or maybe even an eagle because some of the par fives are reachable in two. And uh, that'd be a nice finish to the front nine. So this is 636 yards down 18 feet. Certainly not getting there in two. Um, all right, we've got two fairway bunkers. we got the stream then. Hopefully we don't hit a slow. And, oh, oh yeah, that's, uh, was it the ninth, uh, 16th ninth hole with some beach bunkers? So yeah, got to be mindful of that one. If we do end up at their potential to run down into the water. That's better. So I don't think I'll take the driver off the deck here. I think we'll just play smart. Some nice planting there. I think I saw, did I see some dead trees thrown into the mix as well? If I can get down through the clubs. There we go, press the right buttons. Nice rocks uh, breaking it up and whoop, zooming in too far. And yeah, I think I'll see some dead trees in there as well. Just in between those, these two trees in the center of the screen. Now, I think I can see one there anyway. Or else it's just a branch. Could be a branch. Right, let's reset. And right, three wood's going to get us to there. Tailwind, potential to get into the bunker. A lot of fairway is sloping. Right to left. Try and take it down here a little bit. Ball is below the feet. Take it over the bunker. Wind should hopefully carry that if we can get hit a, hit a good shot. And uh, feed a little bit to the left. Oh, it's a slow. At least it's heading away from the water anyway. That's the main thing. If we can hold the fairway. Yeah, it's just turned away from the bunker. Nice. All right, 46. Going to play about 48. So we're in flop shot territory here now. Um, love wedge should be fine. There we go. That's a good shot. Just needed to sit quick with the spin. And it does. We should hopefully walk away with a birdie here. Even though it's only three feet. They are still missable. But we do. And that will take us to four under par.
All right, so to kick off the back nine for hole number 10, we have par four and it's 338 yards. Eight mile per hour wind in the face and we are carrying over water again. A couple of little waterfalls. Nice and hold on. How do we get to the green? We're doing a run and jump over the over the stream, I think. I don't see any bridge. Or am I yeah, I don't I don't see any bridge. Alright, we're taking a run and jump to uh, get to the ball, provided we do get to the fairway. Which we should do at the part. We're still pushing it though. And comfortably carries anyway, even with the seven mile per hour headwind. But uh, yeah, time to do a run and jump over to the second fairway <laughs> to take her approach shot in. Not sure if uh, the designer just forgot to put a bridge in there, but right, sixty nine. Gonna play about seventy two. That's yeah, a sand wedge should I say should be okay here, even with the wind. Tiny touch of D loft in case. There we go. Am I starting to find the rhythm now? To get the perfects, hopefully. We can have a good back nine. Five feet up three. I didn't just leave that short. I didn't. Usually on master I'm blasting them past the hole. It's on pro, on pro I can leave them short now and again, but usually on master I'm just I'm over hitting them. But leaving a sh leaving a putt that short short of the hole. <laughs> All right, <laughs> oh well, can't do anything about it now. Hole number 11, first par three at the back nine, 195 yards down three feet. I'm going to play about 194, 8 mile per hour wind from behind, and that is a tricky pin, well protected. Um, so I want to say 194, 194, I'm going to have to play, yes I think that's just going to leave a very awkward put, if we try and take it in over here. Um, so yeah, play the, uh, play the 5 iron. There we go, tidy swing, good tempo, but I think it's going to be bunkered. Oh no, we're on, we're on. I'm going to slow on that slope and come back down. No, it's going to stay up there. It's only a short slope, it's going to be a tricky put back down though. 31 feet down one. I'll pop the pin in, because this will probably be a little bit on the pacey side. Um, I'm wanting to go about here be happy to walk away with power i just want this to stop and yeah not not catch that slope and run off down into the bunker that's all i want to do here i've under hit that and that's turned straight hold on hold on no i've under hit a little bit more pace maybe might have threatened the hole a little bit but we'll tap it in for a power save so we've got another three par fives to go and two par threes. I think I saw that right anyway. But hole 12 is par four, 473 yards. Little bit fast, just as I was saying. Thought I found a rhythm for the perfects. Should be all right though. Once we're in the fairway, I'm happy. So leaves us 188. Gonna play about 192. Certainly gonna have to be four iron. And some of these pin locations are definitely tricky. And what's that marker? Is that just hazard mark? OB. Now. Yes, we have out of bounds. That is one thing I still, even though I've said it a number of times in videos, that need to be keeping an eye out for that. I still keep forgetting to do it. And there's only just I saw the marker there. I think I want to aim well over here. Oh, hit the slow. Thankfully, did aim far enough out. Oh, it's going to be on, though. Or will it run off the back? Now we're on. Birdie put. 19 feet down four. I 
Ah, I've only hit it again. It had the distance, just uh, took the break a little bit too quick. All right, power again. Bit of a slow start to the back nine, but we're holding steady anyway. We're not giving any more, any shot anymore. Any shots, I haven't given any back yet to the course. A whole tour routine is a par four, 404 yards. Seven mile per hour wind from behind. I think we'll be taking three wood off the tee here. Definitely will run out of fairway, it looks like. Oh, red slow. But it's fairway. So again, not going to complain. It looks like it will be well above the feet though. So oof, this is going to be a bit of a tricky one because we've got the tree there. Need to wrap it around that a bit and combat the left to right, uh, left to right wind. 197. I'm going to play about 201. Don't think... Uh, well, it might do actually. All right, got the perfect. It looks like it's turning enough to miss the bunker. Oh, yeah, I should have gone with the four iron. <laughs> so another splash shot. We got close already now with a couple so far. That's a pitch. Do not want to pitch. Um, seventy-four percent. Not sure if uh, seventy-four, seventy-four. Yeah, that should be fine actually. And just cal no, not with a red fast. Come on, run. It tried its best, but uh, yeah, we're kind of stuck in a bit of a rut here on a par run again. We stay at four under through 13. So, par three coming up for number 14, and it's 180 yards up two feet. So, I'd say I'm gonna play about 173. Now, we have got a little bit of a backstop right behind the pin, so I want to say 173. We'll play the 7 iron. And if it does run a little long, it won't get far. Just about kept that perfect. Now, hopefully, that can come back a little bit off the slope. That'll do very nice. Usually my luck it always sits right on the slope. Or so, somehow manages to just defy defy gravity and stay there. And there we go. Six foot put for the birdie. Take us to five under par. First of the, the birdies as well for the back nine. Break that deadlock. A little par streak that we had going. All right, hole number 15, uh, par five, nine mile per hour wind in the pace, 566 yards up six feet. So potentially reachable if we had got a, if we had got a tailwind. Oh, and that's a red fast off the tee. Now we're in the heavy rough. Oh, that's gonna be a tricky second shot now. Um, yeah, we're in a spot of bother here. It's a very nice plant, and I'm gonna assume that's like gorse and stuff. And then all the rocks we've got, we've got a bloody stream to get over now as well. Um, I think just gonna have to uh, take the medicine on this one and play for par. Safest bet is gonna be literally, I think. Yeah, just hit a lob wedge out here. Just get it back into the fairway. What are you doing? One of the cats sitting on the floor behind the chair just randomly decided to meow. All right, um, hmm, can we get there? Can we get there? Seven mile per hour wind, gonna play about 243. Ooh. Um, yeah, do you know what? Do you know what? We'll get risky. Ah, the wind is trying to pick up, but we'll go for it. Do you know what? We'll do a little bit of D loft, change the attack angle slightly. 
Oh, it's another red fast. I've completely lost the tempo, but at least we're in the fairway. So that's uh, one positive that came out of that anyway. Um, right, 33. I'm going to play about 35, so we're in splash territory. Gap wedge should be fine, but I think we'll put a little bit of spin on. Don't want it to go long. A little bit fast, but no, that'll do. As I did say after the tee shot, we're just going to have to take the medicine on this one and just play for par. Which we do walk away with, thankfully, just uh, two horrible shots there. Uh, just the, the tee shot and then the third. Both red fasts. Alright, hole 16. Another par 5. And it's 596 yards down 12 feet. 7 mile per hour wind from the back. So hopefully we can get up between those two bunkers. There we go, that's a bit better. Now, yeah, I was, I was just thinking there, what way is it going? Because I did see slopes on the fairway. I was thinking, oh crap, which way is it going to wear? Is it going to kick? Is it going to go forward or is it going to hit a slope? Oh, now that is a tricky, <laughs> a tricky hole to get at. Um, definitely not going to try this one in two. Don't even think I'm going to take uh, the three wood. I think I'll just take the um, the five wood off the tee, to be honest. Even that, to be fair, has potential to uh, use on starting the mooching mess now. Hey, bear with me two seconds. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're gonna wanna start messing now. I think it must be coming up on feet. Yeah, feeding time. Um, but yeah, that looks like it has potential both ways. I think it could run long with the wind and get into the bunker down here, or it could kick to the right and get into the bunker down here. We'll take the five wood anyway. We'll see what happens with that. It's another red fast. That's what's going to happen there. So at least we're in the fairway anyway. Unless it takes a mad kick over to the left. But now we're in fairway. That's grand. Very tricky hole to get at though. To go for it in two. All right, 54. So we're back again with flop shot. And put quite a bit of spin and loft on this one. We're on a bit of a down slope. Little bit slow, but that should again help it to sit a bit quicker. I was hoping it would get a little bit of run, but I did put full spin on it. We do still have a birdie opportunity though. Oh, look at the push on that. That would have gone in. If I didn't push that, it would have turned nice. Oh! <laughs> almost taking a bogey on a par 5 we've got another par 5 to go though so that's 3 of the 5 par 5's parred unfortunately wind is just not in the favour though as well to be trying to go for them in 2 um, but we have the final par 3 of the course for number 17 anyway it's 177 yards down 1 foot 11 mile per hour wind from the back we're up on the top tier at the back of the green for the pin so uh, this is going to be a bit of a tricky one to get a, try and get us a run up. Um, let me see, 177, 166. That's 7 iron as well as going to play to the pin roughly with that wind. I'm going to have to play 8 iron. Bit of D left. I'd much prefer to hit a fast there than get a slow. Alright, we're up on the kind of turn. Turn. Oh. Oh, well, hello. I will take that. That played a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's one way to work the slopes of the green. We'll tap that in for another birdie, and that will get us to six under par. So let's see what this final par five of the course has in store for us. Really enjoyed this course. Nice, good challenge. Even with a few bad shots, still managed to, to save them. So 575 yards down 8 feet. Taking it over all the... Again, as I say, I'm pretty sure it'd be like gorse and stuff. Gorse on the rocks. Fairway again. 
gonna kick it to the right. Oh, I've done it again. If I can hit the fairway and just kick back out a bit. Will it? Yeah, that's okay. I'll take that. We're in the short stuff, so it's going to leave us 303 yards. Yeah, we're not going for that. Um, but that's an 8-iron. Don't want an 8-iron. Can we get over? Oh. I mean, I could try driver. Do we want to be stupid? That's the wrong one. There we go. Oh, what do we do? Ball is severely below the feet. We're taking it over water. Driver off the deck. What is it to... Like, I mean, it's... To get to the fairway, it's 250 yards. Give or take a yard or two in each direction, but... I mean, it's hit and miss with the driver. Sometimes it can carry about 260. And then sometimes it can carry about like 240 or something. I think, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to attempt it. I think we'll just go with the 8 iron. Wind has dropped right down as well. If that was a good tailwind, now I'd have been all over that to try it. But no, I think we'll just play safe. Because we're bogey free, I think, are we? Pretty sure we are. Um... So let's try and keep the bogeys off the scorecard. That's the main objective of a round, keeping the bogeys off the scorecard. Right, 154. So 8 iron in. About half and half. That's a red fast. Again, I felt that straight away. Look at the turn on that. So it's going to be a par to finish off unless we can hold this. Uh, I do not want to pitch shot. That's another feature actually I'd like to uh, come back. I'm pretty sure it's not in the game. I'm not going to check it now. But um, to be able to turn off the uh, automatic shot setup. I, I don't think that's in the game now. It's been a while since I checked. But I used to like doing that on the true sim. Oh, it's another red fast again. And a horrible swing line. Right, let's see if we can keep the bogeys away. And we do finish off with a par on it. So that's four. Um, yeah, four of the five par fives on the course. Let me have a look. Pretty sure it was four. All parred. Uh, so scorecard. What have we got? Uh, par fives. So we got one. Two, three, yeah, four par fives paired. Again, though, we didn't drop uh, drop any shots. And then one, two. Oh, so we, yeah, kind of split a 50 50 on the par threes, paired two and uh, birdie two. But uh, yeah, nice, good, challenging course. Enjoyed that one. Um, and wind was kind of fluctuating up and down, but certainly um, certainly a good challenge to try and uh, shoot low and that managed six under here anyway, but thankfully didn't drop any shots, even though did uh, did par the majority of the par fives, unfortunately. I'd say on another day, hopefully, maybe play a little bit smarter, have a little bit better tempo. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this one. That has been Maplebrook CC Lakes, designed by Jack the Golfer 7708 I will actually leave a link to his Twitter down in the description of the video, so make sure to head over there, give him a follow, so you can keep, uh, keep up to date for any future courses that he does uh, publish and any info on any upcoming courses but uh, yeah that is where we're going to leave this video thank you all very much for watching i hope you did enjoy it if you did don't forget to drop it a like if you haven't done so already or you're only new to the channel and you do enjoy the content do consider subscribing i will talk to you all in the next one until then take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now